Howdy everyone, I just wanted to uh, show you guys a little something that I had just run across, very interesting. The, uh, the title of this video is exactly what the headline is, so there's no clickbait there. Um, I'm telling you that the most interesting thing apart about this isn't necessarily the content of the article, but uh, what happens when you try to share it? Um, so anyway, like I say, the headline, as you can see down here, says grocery store shelves aren't going back to normal this year, right? So I clicked on it and, you know, I was going to share it out because it's, it's news and information. However, when you get over to the, uh, the news website where it's actually at, the headline changes. It, it gets, uh, whitewashed, if you will, um, to why you might have a hard time finding your favorite McCormick spices at the grocery store. I guess they, uh, I guess they were concerned possibly with spooking people or something. Um, however, I would say that their, their, uh, former headline was, uh, much more accurate, uh, to use. So, Anyway, um, I followed this because this is actually from CNN Business. And so I went to the CNN Business, <coughs> pardon me, and I went and I looked uh, to find this article uh, because I wanted to see what the headline was there. I, I, I'm just a stickler for stuff like that. And indeed, uh, here it says grocery store shelves aren't going back to normal this year. However, and I know you can't see the little tab up top, uh, the tab up top says the same thing that KMOV said, uh, why you might have a hard time finding certain McCormick spices. Um, so anyway, I just, I thought that was super duper interesting. And I don't know if CNN even has shared because I don't see where to share it from. So I, I don't have no, to be able to click to see what, what would come up. But anyway... So I wanted to uh, bring the article to your attention too, not just the uh, games being played with the titles, but uh, this is what it has to say. So if you hope grocery stores this fall and winter would look like they did in before in the before times with limitless options stretching out before you in the snack, drink, candy, and frozen food aisles, get ready for some disappointing news. Many of the country's biggest food makers are telling grocers that they will have limited quantities of a number of their products, including things like Rice Krispies treats, Sour Patch Kids, some Ben & Jerry's ice cream flavors, McCormick Gourmet Spices, and Mallory Colander's Pot Pies because of labor, commodity, and transportation constraints throttling supply chains, according to emails viewed by CNN and interviews with grocers. Now, of course, as all you know, there's a ton of uh, videos and information going out right now about a letter from Augustine Farms um, from, you know, uh, their, their distributorships or, or whatnot telling uh, folks that there's going to be a 90-day uh, stoppage put on, on their company. They're not going to be uh, doing anything as far as uh, uh, send, sending anything out. I don't know if they're going to be making stuff, but they're not going to be shipping stuff uh, for 90 days. They're just kind of locking up shop and uh, <laughs> 90 days, nothing. Uh, and even, uh, even to the point of mentioning something about a reset uh, in their letters. So plenty of videos out there. I know Ice Age Farmer, I believe, is uh, one of the big ones that came out with the information. So anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, some suppliers are also telling grocers to cancel their promotions of these items and more over the holidays so these items won't disappear from store shelves as quickly. <clears throat> Says these latest limits mean that stores won't have all things for customers heading into the holidays and shoppers may not be able to find some of their favorite products, flavors, or niche items. But shoppers will still have plenty of options, including most of these companies' core products, which they are prioritizing over their products in less demand. Meaning, for instance, that if you're a fan of Ben & Jerry's popular fish food, you shouldn't have a problem. But the company, company's uh, less well-known cold brew caramel latte might be harder to find. <clears throat> Major food and consumer product manufacturers being short of supply on some items will be a challenge in the grocery industry in the final months of the year, said Steve Howard, Vice President of Merchandising at Bristol Farms, a grocery chain in California. 
Suppliers are warning the company of potential shortages of foods, glass jars, and packaging containers. See, this isn't just the the, the product, the raw product of, of the foods. This is also the packing packaging, and I, I mean, it goes from top to the bottom in this. Uh, in response, Bristol Farms is working to bring in inventory earlier than any other holiday ever, Howard said. Uh, and did you hear that? And there's another headline, by the way, that I think I saw on CNN Business. Uh, let's see. I believe it was uh, right here. Check this out. This isn't good news. Amazon is starting Black Friday deals early, like now. Yeah, I'll put the link to that as well in the description of the video if you want to check out that video as well. So anyway, back to this article. I'll put the other one in the description if you want to read it. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Purchase limits from manufacturers were rare before the pandemic and are creating lesser than full conditions for customers in Morton Williams stores, said Steve Schwartz, director of sales at New York area chain. Morton Williams is trying to tap secondary suppliers when its primary vendors for food and household essentials can't fill, uh, fulfill orders. Uh, it's not your ideal situation, Swartz said. Some customers have been forgiving when they are unable to find what they're looking for, but others just want to know why they can't get their item. Shortages at grocery stores are nowhere near as visible as they were at the beginning of the coronavirus outbreak when shoppers flocked to stores to stockpile food and household staples, but supply in grocery store aisles has not fully recovered to pre-pandemic levels, and companies such as Costco and Sam's Club have recently reinstated purchase limits for customers on paper products and cleaning supplies. Around 18% of beverages, 15% of frozen foods, 16% of snacks, 15% of candy and 18% of bakery items were out of stock at stores during the week ending on October 3rd. According to the latest data from IRI, which uh, tracks in-stock levels at leading U.S. grocery chains, big box stores, pharmacies, and wholesale clubs. Before the pandemic, 7-10% to of products were typically out of stock on shelves, according to IRI. When supply is tight, manufacturers often eliminate some of their fringe items to focus on ramping up production of top-selling products, said, uh, let's see, Krishna Kerr, I can't say that name, uh, Davey, president of IRI's strategic analytics practice. They also tend to cut products that are more expensive to make, according to Davey. Thank God they uh, used her last name there, only. <laughs> uh, let's see, the new norm, all right, so, so what are you in for? What are you in for? The new norm. Some food brands are imposing allocations or purchase caps for certain products on grocery stores and distributors, while other vendors are warning more generally of limited availability. Suppliers typically put products on allocation when, they are, uh, when there are shortfalls, supply shortfalls. The allocations have not been confirmed to one area of the country or to a single type of retailer, said an executive at a leading regional wholesaler. Instead, they are happening nationally, according to the executive, who spoke on condition of anonymity to protect, who I said it right, uh, to protect the company's relationships with suppliers and other wholesalers. But the limits could pose particular challenges for independent grocers who have raised concerns in the past year that suppliers prioritize larger competitors over small stores. Kellogg told at least four grocery distributors last month in an email that Pringles Snack Stacks, Eggo Pancakes, and Morningstar Farm, uh, Farms plant-based hot dogs and bacon will be on allocation and Rice Krispie Street snacks will remain below service expectations through the end of the year. The company also requested that stores cancel their promotions for Rice Krispies and Corn Pop cereal to allow for recovery. Kellogg said in the email that it was experiencing constraints in capacity and packaging materials and labor pressure. So here we go again with packaging materials. Uh, this was before 1,400 Kellogg cereal factory workers went on strike Tuesday. The four distributors shared the email with CNN Business on a uh, condition of anonymity to avoid jeopardizing their relationships with suppliers. Uh, Chris Bonner, a spokesperson for Kellogg, said in an email that the company has seen increased demand since the start of the pandemic as people eat more meals at home, 
Bonner said the company works with retailers to ensure our food flows through their system, and in instances where capacity is tight, it limits orders over certain time periods. The company did not say how many retailers received allocation notifications. Uh, Mandela's is experiencing limited availability on such items as Sour Patch Kids and Swedish Fish, can- uh, fish Candy, uh, Toblerone Chocolate, never heard of it, and Hall's Cough Drops due to supply chain constraints. The company said an October 1st email to a distributor. Mandela's estimated uh, in the email that the recovery date for these items will be in February or March of next year. Okay, so that's that's more or less they're saying the earliest is going to be February or March. And, and I get it, that's candy, right? But folks, we're at the beginning of this. We're at the start of this. A spokesperson for the multinational food and beverage company said in an email that the company is facing high demand for labor and logistics challenges. Mandela's believes it's relatively well positioned to face the marketplace challenges and will continue to keep a close eye on things to get products to retail customers and shoppers on time. The company also did not say how many retailers receive limits on such items, but said we, we, we prepare communications which our sales team has the ability to use as appropriate as they engaged with their customers. Unilever told a distributor in an email on September 14th that labor shortages continue to drive a limited ability to meet demand, and it was deprioritizing production on certain products, including Ben & Jerry's Cold Brew, Caramel Latte, and Ice Cream Sammy flavors, Breyer's Vanilla Fudge Twirl Ice Cream, and Firecracker Popsicles until we were able to return to the supply-steady state. The company said it would be instead focus labor hours on our top-selling items. Like many sectors, at times there are challenges in getting all our product to stores for a variety of reasons related to supply and uh, distribution, a Unilever spokesperson told CNN uh, in an email. Packaging issues also include to be a problem. For example, some seasonings are in tight supply due to challenges procuring glass bottles. A McCormick representative said in an email uh, to two distributors on September 20th that our U.S. bottle supplier shut down due to a due to a COVID-related issue, and we have not received bottles for several weeks for its uh, gourmet spices line. The lack of bottles has impacted our production and is eroding our safety stock across the entire line, the representative said. As a result, McCormick said it would ship approximately 70% of what it had previously forecast, and the company was encouraging customers to cancel their promotions in November and December for the spices line. So it looks like possibly, you know, nothing, nothing along the lines of that until maybe January or February at the earliest. I'm just assuming there. Uh, Lori Robinson, a spokesperson for McCormick, said in an email to CNN Business that Gourmet is the only product line impacted by this packaging shortage and the company's more recognizable red cap spices will be fully in stock throughout the holidays, which customers can use as a substitute for the Gourmet spices, she said. But uh, the company did not say how many retailers received allocation notifications on gourmet seasonings. Well, you know, if it's in plastic, it just won't do. No, I'm kidding. Uh, and some sizes of Marie Collender's uh, frozen pot pies could be harder to find. Conagra said in a September 27th email to a distributor that it was putting an allocation on Marie Collender's 10-ounce and 15-ounce pot pies until November 29th because it encountered packing material challenges from our tray and carton supplier resulted in a pr- uh, production interruption. <coughs> ConAgra did not respond for requests for comment. Uh, Chia Huang, CEO of online bulk goods retailer Box, said allocations are the new norm from food and packaged goods makers uh, and are impacting the levels of products in stock and box. Still, he said, um, the industry is better off than we were this time last year. Yeah, for how long? Um... I really think, see see what happened before <clears throat> was mostly an issue because people flocked to the stores and a bunch of people bought stuff. And um, some people used their heads, some people didn't. But it really put a dent in what they had. And then with all of the 
past events for the going on two years that that we've been going through, um, a lot of places hadn't been back up to 100%. And you mix that up with everything else going on, you know, and now obviously packaging shortages, you know, you're, you're talking about a recipe for disaster. Um, before, it was because of a temporary, you know, uh, well, what should have been a temporary, uh, just, uh, I don't know, buying them out of stock, and it should have been able to be rebuilt back up pretty quick. But that wasn't able to happen, still not able to happen. And the problem is now we have all these prior shortages that are rearing their ugly heads when it comes to today's shortages because, again, you know, a lot of this stuff with packaging and stuff like that, a lot of that stuff, they, they make up quite a bit of it. And, you know, they usually don't have to run on the very latest, latest that, that was produced. Normally, there's a little bit of a warehouse built up of these supplies. Well, they've gone through all that stuff. So now all these companies, even the, the companies making the goods and packaging the goods, they're almost running in a just-in-time system now because they're just trying to get the, the goods, the raw materials, as quick as it can get produced, Okay. And so it's really not even remotely near the same situation as it was before. Now, it doesn't look as dire at this point. But we are just now seeing the beginning of this. We are just seeing the beginning of this. And when you're already talking packaging materials, and when we looked at the different products that, that was having packaging problems, it wasn't just glass bottles. So keep that in mind. I do think there is going to be an insane amount of shortages pop up this month. So probably even more next. So everybody's kind of showing bad indicators. Like I said, Amazon, I'll link this article too. Amazon starting Black Friday deals early. That's not good news. Not good news. Anyway, uh, take this information as you will. I would highly recommend people continue to prep. Maybe step it up if you can. And I hope you have a good day. As always, Shalom.